Good morning. Welcome to the teen room. So this room is constantly a hot mess. And as a mother to three teenagers, I get to the point sometimes where I'm like, do you know what guys? I can't keep up with the mess. So I'm gonna close the door and I'm just gonna pretend like it isn't here. Today is not that day. I am going to deep clean this bedroom. I cannot bear the state of it anymore. It's driving me insane. So before we get going, in this bedroom, uh, just before Christmas, I got a new bed for in here. This bed here is from Mattress Man. I am so thrilled by this bunk bed. So you've got a small double on the base, single on top. And the reason I love this bed so much is it has so much storage. We'll get into that as we go through the vlog and we do the whole cleaning routine. But the storage within this bed, 10, 10. No notes, Mattress Man is exceeding everyone's expectations at this point. He's like Willy Wonka. The storage really helps in terms of, as you can see here, there's like shelves built in, top and bottom, and you can place whatever you want on these shelves. It then saves you having to drill into the walls and put loads of different shelves up. I have actually got in the cupboard a whole load of shelves that I do need to return because I purchased them for the bedroom. But then I was like, is there a bed out there that just has like shelving units within the bed and here we are there is so um let's get this clean let's organize it the weapons of choice for this particular clean are antibacterial spray check mr sheen multi-surface spray and the Sephora winter spice antibacterial multi-surface cleaning wipes <laughs> bedding has been removed we're going to move on to a vacuuming so let's vacuum all the mattresses and then we can move on to wiping down the bed frame going to wipe down the entire frame of the bed. I'm going to be using the Sephora antibacterial multi-surface wipes for this just because they smell so so nice and um, I'm going to start with the shelves first. So I'm at the very top part of the bed. If it's very very dusty run the vacuum over it first so you'll do this along with the mattresses. It's not that bad in here um, today so I'm just going to go in with the wipes now. Let's now move over to this cesspit here. I really am out in Sassy Sienna right now, but I would say out of all of my children, so I've got two boys and then Sienna's obviously my daughter. She is the worst when it comes to this type of stuff. So for this, we are gonna be using, again, the antibacterial surface wipes. So I'm gonna wipe down her whole makeup station. And then because it's glass, we're then gonna go in with the multi-surface spray by Mr. Sheen. This will be used on her mirror and the actual glass desk itself. And then I'm gonna be using my glass cleaning cloth. If you don't have one of these, please do get one. I promise you, your glass will be spotless. This is the perfect, perfect tool. The clue's in the name for when it comes to polishing up glass so much better than just like a bog standard microfiber cloth. <laughs>
move on to the wardrobe. I know what you're thinking, it's not that bad. Hun, it's not that bad because there's no freaking clothes in it. She has got a mountain of clothes, a floor drobe, if you will, of clothes. So I'm gonna start folding these and place them within her wardrobe. I also am gonna utilize the drawer underneath the bunk bed. So I'm gonna make her like a little storage unit there as well. So let's press on. As always, before you do anything with wardrobes, I always say, work with a blank canvas so just remove everything from them and then you can clean it and then start filling it with whatever you're going to be putting inside it it's pointless working around what's already in there because it just it ends up getting a bit too chaotic so start with a blank canvas is my advice Before we begin operation restock the wardrobe I'm going to utilize the drawer under the bed this drawer is so big like because it's a small double underneath it kind of goes quite far back so there's so much room so what I'm going to do is I am going to try and fit as much stuff as I can in here so in drawers I like to do things like t-shirts and um like jogging bottoms things like that and then in the cupboard it will more be things like her school uniform her shirts jackets any like fancy shirts she's got anything that requires hanging will go in the wardrobe anything that can go in a drawer so like i said i.e t-shirts trousers they can be folded um if they're a smart trouser no put them in the wardrobe but if they're like a even a jean you can put jeans in here um her jeans are all currently in the wash at the moment so we won't get around to jeans today but you'll get the gist as i'm going through it <laughs> Okay, so I've started doing the rolling process in this drawer and I've noticed, I've come across this top. See this kid, she's got so many clothes. I don't know what she has and hasn't got, um, but this is a set. So these will come back out. I don't like sets to be um, rolled. I like them hanging up. So because this is a two piece, that will go on a hanger together and in the wardrobe. Let's carry on. Oh. 